Okay, hi guys, welcome back to the Audio Levels channel. Welcome back to another review, and today we are taking a look at something spectacular. This is the Yanyan Aladdin. Uh, this is a hybrid earphone with three balanced armatures, one dynamic driver. One of the drivers is Biocellulus, which was famous years and years and years ago. Um, before we get into this review, uh, if you're new here to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe if you like the content. If you are a fan of audio, you're looking to improve your audio game, we have options and videos on the channel that uh, will give you options at any price point. Uh, whether you're looking to spend $20 all the way up to like $2,000, there's going to be something for you. And this channel is all about trying to find those products that are going to punch well above their weight. Uh, we also do lots of comparisons. So anybody that's here uh, who's already a member and subscribed to the channel knows that they can just leave a comment down uh, in the discussion below and they can ask me to do a direct comparison. Whether I do a separate video on it, if it's popular enough, or whether I just leave it down in the comments, check that out because I'll, I usually get asked questions like, how does this earphone compare to another earphone? And I'll go into some depth about uh, giving them a one by one, side by side. Not always do I have time to film a video for that sort of thing, but I'll definitely listen to them side by side. I keep all the earphones that I review, so uh, let's get into this one. This is the Aladdin. You can see from the box, it's pretty plain. It's just your regular sleeve design. I already have a review up of the Canon, if you want to check that below. They're slightly more expensive, $100 more. Uh, I think they're fantastic value um, when they have the, the filter switches in it. This one doesn't have the filter switches. The Aladdin is just uh, tuned the way it is. And if you, you want to do any external tuning, you'll have, you have to do it with your own uh, EQ system. So let's, uh, as always, I've put everything back in the box so you can see, but my, uh, my boxings are always imperfect. Couldn't quite get the top back down on this one. Um, so up the top you have the earphones, you have a little bit about like the inspiration for the Aladdin, uh, and then you have the these uh, extra ear tips laid out absolutely perfectly. Now the ear tips that were included with it were, I, I would say decent, they're, they're absolutely fine, no, no real issues. I was using the mediums. They do have quite a wide bore, so that means that you can use the Senda ear fits or the Sen Senda fit. Uh, link in the description as always and you can use the final audio e3000 it's a bit of a squeeze but you can get them on and that'll definitely upgrade your tip game um, take the earphones out and i'll just show you they don't include a carry case with this one but they have uh, included a pouch usually i complain about the pouches being absolutely useless but at least they've gone a little bit further in the effort with this one you know it's like one of those old coin purse style ones Nice material, a little bit harder wearing than just your average cloth pouch. Now you get your VIP card, uh, which is good for warranty purposes, which I would not want to test out. As with always, uh, I'd recommend people buy on Amazon or Linsole or something like that. Uh, of course, the links to that will be in the description below. But the reason I recommend if you're going to buy chi fi earphones to buy from one of those suppliers is they have a good record of maintaining customer after support, aftercare. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to deal with Yan Yin or whoever, like who knows if they even have somebody that's going to speak English. Um, so I would, I would go directly through a trusted uh, reseller. Uh, usually you don't lose much on the price. Uh, you know, you can pick these things up off at AliExpress for a few bucks saved, but then you're dealing with ridiculous delivery times and absolutely no after support, aftercare. Uh, let me just bring the earphones back out, pop them back out. So again, just like uh, I talked about on the Canon reviews, uh, it is just the basic resin shell that you get on a lot of earphones. I mean, there's just a variety of different things. In it. And this comes from like, you get resin shells on earphones under under $100 all the way up to over $1,000 now. Uh, it's just a good way that companies can make a, a nice looking faceplate design or something. And they've certainly gone far enough. I think it looks good with the, the black and the sort of marble swirl on it. Let's take a look at the cable. Cable is just, again, like what's becoming fairly generic in the scene right now. Is a good quality cable, but there's no interchangeable jack point connector where you can change this for balanced. Uh, you know, systems by Duno, systems by Canera, systems by Linsole themselves. 
uh, have an interchangeable port, which means that you can use it with a balanced source instead of just a regular 3.5 millimeter jack. The good thing about this though was I had no problems driving it uh, to what I felt like was the fullest of the ability. I didn't see a need for using the balanced. Uh, I did use them with balance cable as I always test uh, to see if there's differences, but not really anything power wise. You have a dual twist uh, going into single strand after the splitter. So that's something that I'm not keen on. Single strand, uh, if I can explain just quickly, uh, dual twist or a braided pattern means that microphonics cannot travel up the, the, the cable. Uh, as easily as it would do with just a single strand. You know, if microphonics are created at this point, then it's cancelled by the next point of contact. Now you do get microphonics that comes from the system as a whole, but generally twists and braids are a reason to uh, cut out a lot of the external noise. Splitting into single uh, strands on the end uh, kind of defeats that purpose because now anything up towards your ears knocks off your chest or hits behind your ear or your neck you're gonna hear like a little bit of noise come through the cables. It's not an overly microphonic cable, but I would have just preferred uh, a braid or a twist after, uh, after the splitter. The splitter is metal, but the cable cinch is plastic, and you have fairly long uh, ear loops on it, followed by a two pin connection system, fairly standard. So if you're looking to upgrade to an aftermarket cable, you can of course do that. Now let's take a look at the earphones themselves. Tastefully done with the branding, they just have Aladdin on the left earpiece and on the right they have the company logo. I take this off, they have metal nozzles uh, fused to the body. Uh, I like that, the reason being that if you drop a regular, and I don't have a regular all resin pair, uh, yes I do, uh, Fearless Audio SAZ, if you drop acrylic and it lands on a hard surface, it's prone to splitting. Uh, with the metal nozzles, you've got a little bit more protection. The other uh, thing is that the, the nozzles are very smooth on a resin finish, whereas you can see this protrusion or lip uh, on the metal nozzle that catches the ear tip so it doesn't allow it to come off inside your ears as easily, especially if you're sweating. Now, let's have a look a little bit closer. You have the port up the top for venting for the dynamic driver or the biocellulose driver. You have metal grates on the end of it. So it's fairly basic. It's a good size, I'm gonna say medium to small ears, no problem, maybe small medium ears. Uh, we get away with it as well, definitely not for small ears. Uh, I have an article linked below for people with small ears. Um, but yeah, uh, nice design, fairly common. Let's get into the sound. Now, the sound is the reason that you want to buy these earphones. Uh, the, the ones that are doing the rounds, like something like Mangrid T2, uh, and just like I talked about in the other review of the Canon, you're, you're kind of at $250. You're going definitely against Raptigo Hook X, Timeless 7 Hertz and uh, P1. It's a completely different experience. Yes, these are technically better. These are technically better sounding earphones. These are more audiophile. These are more jaw dropping to me in a different way. Um, I'm not gonna say that they are better. Um, the thing about uh, the Aladdin, which caught me by surprise because I really was not expecting a lot out of this. Uh, I just thought it would be just more generic sort of fill uh, coming out from a no-name company. I know nothing about this company. I can't say how long they're gonna be around for, how long they have been around for, but this is a natural, natural, natural sounding earphone. This is tuned beautifully, like engaging beautifully, like the the tonality of it, the the mid range is some of the best mids that I've heard um, under five hundred dollars by far. Uh, it is just buttery smooth, just the right amount of technical detail. Um, it's definitely more tonally perfect than it is like technically perfect. Um, the tuning of it is just is wonderful, and the bass is not overblown or anything. It's it's bass enhanced, but it's not um, it's not overly done. But I, I would definitely say that the mids are pushed up, uh, and they're done with just this veil of warmth. 
and a smoothness uh, that is reminiscent of like the old Campfire Audio Lyra Edition 1s. It was a super, super pleasing earphone to listen to. It's not got the same thickness as that. There's more clarity in the Aladdins than the, the original Lyra's, but it's got that sort of smooth gravity to the mids, especially if you're listening to stringed instruments. The, the stringed instruments sound so realistic on this, whether it's piano or... Um, guitar, I was listening to uh, Rodrigo y Gabriela Tamacun, um, and that just sounded so natural, especially with the, the slaps on the strings that they were doing, or the fretboard slides. Um, super, super good in the mid range. And then you come to vocals, I would say male vocals are the ones that excel most in here. Um, Gregory Porter, Concord, just sounded like with a lot of gravitas, a lot of gravel in his voice, a lot of. You can feel that weight in the way that Gregory Porter sings. Um, it sounded absolutely fantastic. Um, going into the highs as well, the, the highs were, were super well done, like like tuned perfectly in balance with that mid-range. It is enough sparkle to create the, the sense of sound soundstage. Uh, I, I was surprised by how much soundstage they had as well and a lot of that came from the way that they present the treble. The treble's got a little bit of pop to it but then it rolls off uh, at the areas where it becomes sort of hot and harsh. Uh, I just thought overall the tuning was absolutely fantastic. Now in terms of imaging, it was I would say above average but not on the level of the planos. The, the planos really come alive in terms of placement of instrumentation and things like that. Soundstage was on the large side for an IEM. Uh, and I'm trying to think the the timber and the decay was both good and uh, slightly above average again for the price point. Uh, the only area where it was maybe maybe lacking a little bit more was in the the detail and resolution in the upper mid base. Um, it had impact in the bass, it had good quality bass as well, but I have to look at it honestly like when I'm comparing against certain specifics of other earphones, something like the way that the Tin Hi-Fi P1 Plus presents the, the higher frequencies of bass. There's more detail to be found in there, especially if you listen to jazz music, you'll notice that. Um, I think it's just down to the, the way that the drivers are able to speed up and convey. Uh, Biocellular seems to be quite fast. It was popular years and years and years ago. I mean, when I was a few years into the hobby, maybe maybe more than a few years, geez, maybe 10 years into the hobby, V-Sonic uh, had uh, a whole bunch of Biocellular driver earphones and there's been other companies with it afterwards. Um, it's fast, but the, the speed of the planars is really fast and so therefore it can create this one um, the Aladdin, more impact, uh, more sub-bass, uh, the Tin Hi-Fi P1, better detailed uh, mid-bass, for example. Um, but overall, I think $250 puts it in a price point where there's a lot of competitive earphones. Uh, I would say it punches above its weight, um, but that's just not true. Anybody that says that now, there's so many options at so many different price points. Uh, other than planos and tribrids uh, being competitive above their price point, you're not really having that. This just, I would say, is one of the best options at its price point. If you're looking to spend $250, I can think that this is a very, very good way to listen to music, especially if you're going to listen to a lot of uh, rock, jazz, instrumental, uh, orchestral, stuff like that sounds absolutely fantastic. Even vocal, vocal music, male and female vocals sounds absolutely amazing on this. Uh, so this one is all about the tuning guys. Uh, this, is, this is one of the ones where somebody nails the tuning. I, I say there's companies that can nail the tuning sometimes, like The Audio are doing a fantastic job with their tuning. Yanyan seems to be proving that as well with their uh, Canon and Aladdin. I really, really like it. I want to test some of the more expensive models as well because I'm interested in that. Um, but if you're thinking about buying the Aladdin, uh, you've already like done the research. Yeah, th this, is, this is a banger, banging earphone. So, uh, okay, on this one, uh, I've been rambling on a little bit. So I'm going to finish off with saying what's coming up. Uh, Harmonic Dyne G200 review planar magnetic headphones uh, with carbon headbands um, at a very interesting price point for something with carbon headbands. 
and I have the TRN TA1 Max, a little budget option at uh, under $50. So keeping it under 15 minutes as I promised and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys, like, subscribe, all that good stuff.